In Windows 11, you can use your phone as a webcam. This is a built-in feature and it's actually good. Maybe even better than some other alternatives. So to use this feature, open Windows 11 settings app and then go to Bluetooth and devices option. And in here, go to mobile devices. Turn this feature on. Allow this PC to access your mobile devices. If it's turned off, just turn it on and then Click on manage devices, which will open another window and make sure that you're signed in with the Microsoft account. Otherwise it will not work because this is a phone link feature. You have to connect your phone to your PC through phone link. So if you're already using phone link app, then yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. You just need to enable this feature. Okay. So first you need to add your device in here if you haven't already. So you can see I already have a couple of devices added here and one is even active. Okay. And here you can see a option use as a connected camera. Yeah, that's it. This, this is the only thing that you need to enable. And then you can use your phone as a webcam and it works anywhere. So first, let me show you guys how to add your device or your phone. To add your phone, you have to click on add device option here. And then you have to scan this QR code from your phone. So on your phone, you have to download this application called link to windows or phone link. Just uh, search on Google and you'll find it. Okay. So open this application. And after that, you can either sign in with the same Microsoft account in here, or you have a option here, sign in using the QR code on your PC. So you basically you have to, you know, scan this code. So basically you just go there, scan, and after that, follow the instructions, enter this code that you see on your PC to your phone and done. That's it. Then your device will be added successfully. So I have already added my device that I actually want to use. Okay. So again, once you have added your device, click on manage devices, and then you'll see your connected device or basically your connected phone. Enable this. You can enable this or disable it. Okay. If it's disabled, just enable it. And after that, also make sure to enable use as a connected camera option. And you can actually turn off this get new photo notification if you don't want to use that. If you just want to use your phone as a webcam, just enable this feature. Enable the device first and then use as a connected camera. That's it. This is a feature that is actually somehow connected to the phone link application. Again, if you're using phone link application, so this is basically the same thing, uh, you know, adding a new device, you just have to enable that device from the manage device settings. That's it. Once you enable that, you don't have to use phone link application, make sure that it is running in the background. So device is connected to your PC. Now open any application that requires uh, a webcam. Okay, so let's say for example, this one. Now you can see unlock your phone to start your video. So I have unlocked my phone and it says check your notification so i'm going to check my notification now i see the same thing on my phone too the camera control okay this thing uh you can minimize it and actually let me switch to front camera you have a option to switch camera here switch to front so i'm gonna do that hey that's me yeah <laughs> And it's actually pretty good and you can also do that okay landscape or however you want to do it now you can take the picture or whatever you want to do uh this is a, a little bit annoying that you can't dismiss this you can minimize this control okay this is basically a option to control your phone's camera you can pause the video streaming and you can switch it between the front and back camera and all that okay and if you want to use this on some other application, let, let's just say, for example, let's say OBS, anything, it will work on anything, your video calling or Discord, Teams, you can use this thing on anything. It's basically a webcam. You can say that. Okay. So let's say I want to use this in OBS Studio. I'm going to go and add the video capture device and then I'm going to add 
my phone here you'll see your phone name here so this is the phone that i'm using as a webcam and it also says windows virtual camera i'm gonna select that and again uh, i'm gonna have to check my phone okay so i have to, i have to make sure that my phone is unlocked so i'm gonna go and check my notification okay now here you can see uh, the phone is here okay and now you can also configure this um let's say 1280 i think the maximum resolution that it supports right now is the 720p so but it, it it's actually pretty good you can actually see everything is syncing okay my hand look at my hand here okay here and here you can see it's in sync i can feel it so it's really good okay there is no delay so yeah this is how you can use your phone as a webcam it's actually really good it has no watermark there is no payment it's completely free this is basically a feature in windows 11 and it's again it's actually really good okay i'm gonna resume the video and you can see there is no delay i'm not kidding when i say this is really good now before i leave you guys in peace i want to give you guys one more extra tip this is only for the google pixel devices so if you have a google pixel phone there is even better way to use your phone as a webcam on pc this is also a official feature in pixel phones so basically if you connect your Pixel phone through USB cable to your PC, you'll have a new option called connect as webcam. It's going to be even better, okay, since I don't have a Pixel phone, but I did try it using the custom ROM. I had that feature, but it didn't work because it's not a Pixel phone. So custom ROMs doesn't work, okay? <laughs> so basically, once you connect your phone to your PC, the Pixel phone, you'll have a bunch of options. What do you want to do? You want to file transfer, USB tethering or something. Now, there is a new feature in Google Pixel phones called webcam. So once you select this option, your PC will recognize your phone as a webcam. And since this is happening through the USB, it's going to be even faster and better than wireless method. But still, again, as I said, the Windows 11's, uh, you know, uh, phone link app or phone as a webcam feature also works really well it's it's actually really good yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye